reasons he keeps you around when he doesn't want a relationship. Yeah, you have done just about almost everything that serious couples do. You have traveled together, you've hanged out with each other's friends, and maybe met each other's family. But despite all that in this limbo between relationship and courtship, <laughs> although there are many reasons why a guy might not want to fully commit to, with you in a relationship, Hey, welcome. My name is Robert. Thank you so much for joining us. If it is your first time for clicking on the Barija Farm, make sure you smash on that subscribe button. Click on the notification bell so that anytime we upload a video, you can be notified. It typically falls into two categories. It might be about him or it might be something that you're doing. But learning to decode the difference between the two will save a ton of heartbreaks and not just because from this guy but also from other men you will be dating in the future so does he want you but not a relationship with you yeah of course there's nothing more frustrating than not knowing where you stand in somebody else's eyes especially when you're madly in love with that someone else many women find themselves in this endless entangle with the man who isn't really their boyfriend, not even their friend. So, does your man want you? Hmm. If you have experienced any of the following, this is how to find out that she doesn't want a relationship with you without even asking. Of course, it can be really awkward asking someone if they want to be in a relationship with you or why they don't want it in the first place. But the good thing is that you don't need to ask at all. And in many cases, the signs are obviously telegraphed. And all you need is to put them to a test. And I'm going to give you some of the easy tests that you can perform to see if your man is really your man. You heard me right. Number one, talk about the future. Whether you are in a relationship with someone or just dating them, there's nothing wrong. This is not about planning what is coming in the next 20 years with your guy. It might be something as innocent as planning a serious vacation or a trip in just a few months or and he will love the idea of the trip and love the fact that you are not only thinking about more time with him but thinking about him keeping him involved in your life for a long time but if he doesn't want you he will react negatively and stand offish by the fact that he will be bothered that you're planning to keep him in your life for that long when he probably assumes that you're just a tourist in his life and you won't be seeing each other in a few months. Number two, add friends and family to the mix. Okay, there's no relationship that exists in open space because no individual exists in an open space. We are made up by the people who fill our lives from our best friends to our siblings and our parents. So, introducing your special friends to your friends and family isn't something that should feel <clears throat> completely out of space. It's a natural step in the growth of a real relationship. If he wants you, he might be intimidated or shy towards the idea of meeting other people in your life but he would want to score points uh, and he should be open to the idea of it if he doesn't want you he knows that getting to know your friends and family will make him more of a jack when he eventually disappoints you so he will try to give every lame excuse to squeeze the possible meetup so that you don't meet them at all. Number three, try to get him to open up. 
<laughs> no matter how reserved and introverted your guy might be, he still has emotions. And like anyone, he's looking for the right person to share those emotions with. It might take some refusal and refusing, but you can help him open up by opening up emotionally yourself and showing him part of your personality that nobody gets to see. If he, he wants you understand that this is his opportunity to truly connect with you, not just another person, but with another person who deeply cares about him. Even if he has never had the chance to open up before, he will fall into the habit of treating you like he's confident. If he doesn't want you, he won't want to commit to you and reveal his inner parts to you. It will always feel to him that there is always one part of him that is hidden from you. And he's doing it intentionally so that the time he comes and he wants to live your life, he doesn't feel as guilty about it that you know him. Number four, get his full attention and see how long he can keep it. Mm. The person you are dating or hanging out with should give you the respect of their full attention. At least sometimes this they means are actively that engaged in the conversation, that they are fully present in the activities you're doing together and that they aren't always on their phones or coming out with reasons and excuses for their absent-mindedness. If he wants you, there should be no difficulty in getting his full attention because he wants your full attention. He is eager and charismatic and loves the fact that you want him as much as he wants you. But if he doesn't want you, it may be a chunk of his day, you're never the reason why he gets out of the bed in the morning. You're just an item he checks off the list. Number five. See how reliable he is. Yeah. A relationship isn't just about pleasing each other and making each other happy. We commit to each other and help our partners through their struggles, both big and small. Whether that means helping them, maybe if they are moving their furniture in their in a new apartment or being their shoulder to cry on when they have any problem. Your partner should be there to fill that need. So, you need to see exactly how your man is and whether they are always a perfect excuse for his unreliability. If he wants you, there will be very few things that can keep him away from you in your time of need. When you need him, he will make sure that he, he will be of service because he values you so much that a part of him is worried that another guy will see how amazing you are and does the job he should be doing. But if he doesn't want you, then your needs won't really matter. You're just a stopgap for him. And he only wants the pleasing part of the relationship. None of the work. There will always be a perfect excuse to get him out of things from debts that you plan together to anything else. So, if you happen to see all those signs, then just know that the guy is not your man. <laughs>